I miss the golden age of YouTube, man. Honestly, I just miss YouTube when it wasn't a place where just a bunch of constant bullshit happened from pretty much all directions, if we're being honest. And, uh, this video is definitely going to be a little bit of a rant because I definitely, uh, don't understand how we get to this point where a multi-billion dollar company, right, like a company that is just so dominant in what it does, that when people even merely mention searching a video up online, they just say, hey, YouTube that video. I don't understand how a company with that much power with that much resources at its disposal can get to this point. However, well, you guys already know because I wouldn't be here making the video if not. So, well, we already know that YouTube is bound to just completely screw things up from time to time. It just is almost part of the corporate nature at this point for them to do so. I really never expected to see anything like this where they're just so fucking bold with it. They'll just openly admit that this is what's going to happen. They tell you this is going to happen. They just, they want you to know. It's almost like bragging rights. To YouTube at this point that they can, I guess, get away with this kind of thing. And I don't know what they really thought was going to happen. I don't know if they thought that, like, creators were going to be completely okay with this idea. Like, we were all just going to skip along our own merry way or what the fuck ever they were thinking there. But YouTube's bots have been notoriously horrible ever since they've pretty much deployed them, if we're being honest. Or, I guess, the recent updates they've made in years. I don't know how long they've had these bots if we're keeping it a buck fifty. But these bots mess everything up, man. They don't get demonetization correctly. They take videos down that really don't violate community guidelines whatsoever. They just mess everything up. They don't get the job done. Like, I understand why they're there, right? They're there to serve a purpose. They're there to basically be automated employees that can provide the essential functions that an employee would. They, I mean, they review pretty much everything, right? And I understand their necessity. Like, they have to have bots on a site this big. YouTube is one of the biggest websites on the planet, guys. And I'm pretty sure billions, with a B, use this site every single month. So, I mean, it would be impossible for them to manually go through everything. I get that. That's fine. But in recent months, they've taken this step with their, I guess, automation to where people would manually review monetization and things like that, and it wouldn't be left up to a bot to decide it and things like that. And well, they, they weren't taking down as many videos for different things. Kind of seemed like they were taking a bit of a W, right? They're kind of walking the correct line here. They're not really, I guess, blowing everyone out of the water. But well, an unfortunate global event has started in the last few months, right? God has dropped a zombies mode DLC on our heads, and, well, people, I guess, aren't really working as much as they used to, especially in the last few weeks as it start to, I guess, progress a lot more. I'm not gonna say it, YouTube, no worries. I'm, I'm not saying the naughty little word that will automatically get this video demonetized and destroy its search ranking potential. So, I'm, I'm not saying it. Everyone, I think, already knows what I'm talking about. We're all kinda, I would say, feeling a little fatigued from hearing it so much, but they put out some tweets, okay, that I think we all need to see here because it doesn't just affect affect me, it affects you as well. I know a lot of you make videos, I know a lot of you do things here on the platform besides just watch, which is fine, you know, that's cool if you don't, but March 16th, only two days ago, they put out some posts on their at Team YouTube over on Twitter, which is supposed to be the number one stop and shop for all things YouTube, right, for creators to just, I guess, know what's going on, and I guess we know what's going on really fucking well now, so. I've blurped this out on the screen, just in case. Uh, as the cheese touch evolves, we're doing our best to support those who watch, create, and make a living on YouTube. Many of us here and in our extended workforce are unable to work as usual, so we're reducing staffing in certain offices, causing some disruptions. And they put out a little post on their fucking blog. Okay, we're fine up until this point. I understand what's going on, and I'm okay with it, okay? You know, I, I don't think they should have to sit through work if this is really as bad as everything's going, you know? If they want to take proper precautions, that's a good thing, okay? With fewer people to review content, our automated systems will be stepping in to keep YouTube safe. More videos will be removed than normal during this time, including content that does not violate our community guidelines. We know this will be hard for all of you. Okay, two things before we even get into this. Number one, it's very, I guess, wise and funny of you to indicate to us that the automated systems are stepping in now, as if they're not already there. Like, we already know that YouTube is basically propped up by these bots. It's not like they have millions upon millions upon millions, like a ridiculous amount of people doing everything manually on this website. We already know the bots are here. You don't have to say that they're stepping in. They've been stepped in since Obama was president here in the US, okay? So, second, just go ahead and take a look at the ratio on this tweet. If you don't use Twitter, when you see that there are more comments than 
than likes and retweets, usually that is a bad indicator. That usually means that whoever put that up is basically getting roasted. So they got ratioed on their tweet. Now beyond that, right, just not even considering what those two things mean, they now have openly admitted that YouTube will be wrongfully deleting content because the bots are not capable of, I guess, distinguishing? What the fuck are you thinking? Okay, so... Just consider this, right? Let's say you make a video just like mine right here, okay? I've sworn a little bit in this video. I have dodged around that one bad naughty word going around right now. I, to this point, I don't believe at least have violated community guidelines because, well, I mean, I'm, I'm staying pretty much within the baseline, right? YouTube's bot could very well just take this video down. What for? Who knows? It could just take it down for anything because it violates community guidelines, even if it doesn't violate the community guidelines. Don't you think maybe if you have to openly go out, right, and tell everyone using your website that your bots are so piss poor at doing their job that they will just completely destroy people's income potentially, don't you think maybe there's a problem with the bots that you should be addressing? before we implement them site-wide. Now I get, you don't really get that liberty at this point, right? There's a lot going on right now. You don't really wanna risk people being in close contact with one another. I get that, that is completely understandable. I would say I'm a rational person. You know, I think I can get that one, that's, that's cool. But when you are now basically leaving hamsters on a wheel to run the entire project, don't you think maybe something's going to go astray when you have to say this? There is absolutely zero reason that people cannot be reviewing shit from their homes. I don't care what anyone says, okay? And I know for a fact that a lot of YouTube employees are working from home, okay? I know that for a fact. But the thing is... What is prohibiting them from being able to manually review monetized videos from their kitchen or their living room? They've all got computers, right? And I'm assuming that YouTube doesn't manually mark everything down on a piece of paper, whether it's monetizable or not. You're telling me they can't log into the software from home? They can't log in from their job at home and just watch these videos that are being, I guess, pushed into their inbox or whatever to manually review? That's completely impossible. Uh, when it comes down to, like, site-wide engineers, okay, there's no portal that they can connect into the back door of the website through. They can't mo they can't use, like, a mobile service to work on the website and do things. The people who are supposed to be, like, watching videos that have been flagged for different guidelines abuses, they can't watch those videos from home. That's pretty weird. If you've developed a system where billions of people around the planet can watch videos, right, from their own house, from a phone on the train, from a laptop with hotspot Wi-Fi from a tablet at the very peak of whatever little reception that they can get on a mountainside in a thunderstorm, okay? They can watch videos from that, but your own employees can't do so. It's, it's just, it's mind-boggling to me that this even had to be a point, I guess, that they had to tell people. Like, what website in their right mind would be like, we should be able to say this? We appreciate your patience with delays and support via at Team YouTube chat, email, and reviews through the appeals and everything during this time. We'll continue working to support you to the best of our abilities. Check back here in the Help Center for updates. Okay, why should I be patient? Okay, I, I get that, like, you know, maybe it'll take a little bit longer to confirm monetization. I'm patient with that. I am extremely impatient with a company that has openly admitted that they may just strike me down because some bot feels like it and there's nothing that can be done basically right now. That I basically can just kiss the sack, I guess. And you're probably thinking, right, Optimus, what does this all have to do with the golden age of YouTube? What does this have to do with any of that? Well, I don't know how long you've been using YouTube, but there was a time when this shit never happened, okay? When the website was actually competent, okay? And they actually ran things to the best of their abilities. And if there was some sort of global emergency like this, they would have some sort of steps in place to make sure that everything ran smoothly and it wouldn't rely on bots falsely striking people. I understand that with a site so big you have to have these bots, but you can't make them efficient enough to decide with your already completely printed out guidelines, right, that it's not just destroying people. There was a time on YouTube where you could just make a living doing it, right, and you wouldn't have any problems. If you said one little no-no word in the video, that wouldn't completely knock it out of park, right? There was a time and place where you could just get on here and that this problem wouldn't become a weekly problem because let's be real, YouTube is screwing something up every other week. They're always messing something up and you don't know what they're messing up, right? You, you never can really tell because 80% of the shit that they really do mess up, they do it behind the scenes. It's funny, they have back doors to do that kind of stuff, right? But they don't have the back doors to manually review videos from three miles away on their laptop, right? It's incredible how this site has gotten to this point. I miss when I could get on YouTube 
and make a video and didn't have to worry about whether or not YouTube would just randomly shut my shit down tomorrow. I miss being able to get on YouTube and all my favorite creators weren't worrying to death about whether or not everything's going downhill for them because YouTube is messing with something. That was a really cool time. I don't know if you guys remember that time or not. I'm assuming some of you don't. I'm assuming some of you are a little bit newer to YouTube and everything. But there was a time and place where YouTube was just a place that you could just fucking enjoy regardless, right? And you didn't have to worry about YouTube screwing something up. Like, YouTube is an incredible website. Don't get me wrong. I mean, what they do on such a scale, it's phenomenal, right? Like, I make my living on YouTube for the most part, right? That's great. You know, that opportunity has been given to so many people. That's a really good thing. But then, YouTube has not adequately taken the procedure... I guess, to make sure that our livelihoods are not messed with completely out of line. It, it's completely unfathomable to me because they lose money too. That's the thing. They take down a video that's going to make 700k views for no reason, right? With mid-rolls and everything. They lose out on a cut of money, right? They lose out on hundreds if not thousands of dollars every time that that happens. Depending on the creator and their CPMs and whatnot. But this kind of stuff never used to be a problem. YouTubers never used to have to worry about these things. And YouTube used to just be a much better place to be around because these things didn't happen. And because everybody was just pretty much carefree, enjoying themselves, making videos, man. Just my little rant, I guess, here. Um, I, I had to get this one off my chest. Ever since I saw this, I was like, I gotta make a video about this. So, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. But remember, uh, subscribing does not send out notifications anymore. Because why in the fuck would you subscribe to a YouTube channel if you wanted to see their content, right? That, that wouldn't even make sense. That's completely unfathomable, right? So, if you want to see more of my videos, if they're not unfairly taken out off of YouTube, right? You gotta go to the notifications. But you, you don't just turn them on because there's several different options for no reason. You got to make sure to hit all on that notification bell or else you're not going to see all my videos. You only see once every three months or something stupid. So now that that's out of the way as well, follow me over on Twitter at Subtoptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. Twitter has magically found a way to make sure that the site runs fine throughout this whole problem. Make sure to check out shopopti.com down below for the freshest, most officialist Optimus merch on the platform. Once again, it's magic how that site's running fine throughout this whole problem. Also, check out Optube down below. My own personal site, right? Magical how that works all together, right? Like, I can do that from home, right? Thank you to my channel members, though. Your support helps my channel tremendously when things like this come up and you don't really know what's going on in the next few weeks and months. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus just ranting against YouTube, man. I, I, had, to, I had some pent-up anger, I guess, and signing out.